nothing says barbecue season more than hamburgers but sometimes you just don't have hamburger buns so what do you do well you make homemade hamburger buns and that is what we're going to do today we are making homemade brioche hamburger buns so for this you're going to need your mixer and we are going to be using bread flour for this recipe I'm also going to be using a quick rise, uh, a quick rise instant yeast, some eggs, some sugar, some salt, and some butter. So for this, what we want to do first is put our uh, bread flour here in our mixer. And I always like to take a fork and just fluff up my flour before I measure it out. So we're going to need three um, and two thirds cup. The full recipe is on the recipe page for this. So one, two, three, and then we need two thirds. And so there is our two thirds. So we are done with that. And then I'm going to use um, some instant uh, quick rise yeast. And I'm going to mix those two together. Get out my whisk here and just mix those two together. So the next thing that I'm going to add to this is room temperature water. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in. And then I've got some eggs here dump out a cup here and these are room temperature eggs so I'm gonna go ahead and crack those um, I just put them in a uh, container of water here to bring them up to room temperature quickly so I've got my two eggs in there and then I'm just gonna go ahead and add my dough hook and I'm gonna mix this together on low speed and um, I'm just gonna do that until it comes together and no dry flour remains. So about two minutes and then I'll scrape my bowl down. Okay, it's been about two minutes and you can see it's pretty sticky. Um, I just wanna scrape the bottom and just make sure that there aren't any little bits of flour that are hiding on the bottom. And I'm going to scrape down my hook, my dough hook, and then I'm just going to cover this and let it sit for about 15 minutes before we start on the next steps. So I'm going to cover this, let it sit for 15 minutes, and then we'll be ready for the next step. It's been 15 minutes and we have let our dough rest and that is just to really help hydrate it. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start to add our sugar and our salt and then we will add our butter one uh, piece at a time and allow each one to incorporate before we add the next one so that's going to take about three minutes so we're going to get started so sh uh, sugar first <laughs> So there is our sugar, and then we're gonna add our salt. So I'm gonna increase this to medium and start adding my butter. I've got all of my butter incorporated and I'm just going to give this a good scrape down and I'm going to let this mix on uh, medium high until it comes away clean from the sides of the bowl. So that's going to take about 10 minutes for it to become nice and uh, elastic, elastic -y. Um It's going to take about 10 minutes for it to become nice and uh, elastic and pull away cleanly from the sides of the bowl and then after that I'm just going to transfer it to a greased bowl and I'm going to cover it with plastic and then I'm going to let it 
double in size um, and that will take uh, about an hour at room temperature depending on how warm your house is and the time of year. So I'm going to let this go for 10 minutes. <laughs> Okay, so now that my dough, whoops, now that my dough has come away from the sides, grab a little, put a little bit of flour on my hand just so I can get this off without it completely sticking to me. Um, now that it has come away from the sides nice and clean, I am going to transfer it to a bowl. So I'm going to grab my bowl here and I've got just a little bit of olive oil that I'm gonna stick in there. And then I'm just gonna take my hand and I'm going to coat the bowl with the olive oil. Add a little bit more. You wanna go all the way up the sides as well. All right, that looks good. And then I'm just gonna transfer this right over into my bowl that's been greased. I'll put a little bit of um, oil on top here so that the, the uh, plastic doesn't stick to it and then I'll cover it with the plastic and then I'm just gonna let this rise for about an hour. It has been an hour and our dough has doubled in size. So the next thing that we wanna do is we want to create um, 12 buns out of this. So you're going to want to line a baking sheet with some parchment and we're going to turn the dough out onto our counter and we're going to divide it. So I'm going to grab my my bowl scraper here and just take this. Um, I'm going to get a little bit of flour so that it doesn't stick to my hands. I'm just going to add a little bit of flour to my hands. All right, so I'm going to take this out, this out of my way. Now I'm using a sew pat just because it won't stick to the sew pat like it will other surfaces. So I'm going to just kind of try to get this into a cohesive shape. This is really pretty dough. Look how pretty that is. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to get my bench scraper out and I'm gonna divide this so I need to get 12 out of this so I'm just gonna cut through the middle I'm gonna reshape this a little bit this is a very very soft dough and if you get any air bubbles, just pop them. So I will divide this again. And whatever way works for you is how you should go about dividing. You could also weigh this out using a kitchen scale. So I'm gonna leave this one off to the side here. I'm gonna divide this again. So we divided it in half. So we should be able to get six out of each half. So that means I need to divide these um, in, th in thirds in order to get six. So I'm just gonna divide that and then I'm gonna take about this much off each side and hopefully I will get something that resembles at least roughly the same size. There we go. Okay so I have my three pieces. Now I'm just going to, I need to, I want to roll this. I want to get this into a nice ball. We do want these to be somewhat flattened out. Um, this dough is very soft, so that's gonna be pretty easy to do. So I have a three inch biscuit cutter here, and if I lay this in the biscuit cutter, I can tell that I've got roughly a three inch round. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer that over to my baking sheet, and I'll just kinda tuck these this under a little bit just to kinda get it. Just like so. So I'll just keep going this to be nice and round. And then I'll transfer it over to my baking sheet. And once you get these um, onto your parchment lined baking sheet, then you're going to want to cover them with plastic and let them um, rise again. So 
just make sure that they're round so that when they kind of flatten out, you have more of a rounded piece of dough. All right, so I'm just gonna keep dividing and keep going. And once I get them all um, on my baking sheet, I'll cover them with plastic and then let them rise again. I am gonna use two baking sheets for this. I'll do six on each baking sheet. Our buns are all nice and proofed. So I'm just gonna come through with a little bit of egg wash. Um, if you don't like eggs, you can skip this part. Uh, if you like sesame seeds, you could brush your egg wash on and then sprinkle some sesame seeds on top. You do want to be careful that the, um, the egg wash is not so thick that it puddles around the bottom of the, the bun because it will cook. So just be mindful of that. If you do for some reason end up with some of the uh, around the bottom, just use a paper towel to wipe that up. And then I'm just gonna, going to put these in the oven and bake them up and be ready to make some delicious hamburgers to go with it or turkey burgers or chicken burgers or whatever you fancy. And these brioche, homemade brioche buns are good any time of the year. Our brioche hamburger buns are fresh out of the oven and they are nice and cooked. Um, you can double check the temperature of them by using a thermometer. Um, you just want to put it in and as long as it's at 205 to 210 degrees, they are nice and done. Um, these ones are at 209, so we are good. And then you just wanna let them cool and you're ready to enjoy them with your turkey burgers or beef burgers or chicken burgers, lamb burgers, whatever you are making to go with these delicious brioche hamburger buns.